Good morning, TK family. Welcome back to our channel. Guys, as you guys can see by the title, today is my one week post stop. Um, I'm going back to the doctor today to finally, finally, finally get my drain removed. Um, as you guys saw a couple days ago, I actually had to go back to the doctor because my drain was in like an insane amount of pain. Like it was just so uncomfortable. And at that appointment, I was actually able, if I wanted to get my drain removed like a couple days early, but she did say that that runs a risk of a seroma. I think it's called i think it's just like excess fluid that um hasn't like drained out quite yet but i definitely didn't want to run the risk of like anything happening so i decided to stick it out until my one week post-op which is today but yesterday and this morning like i've been in an insane amount of pain again like it's just that area is just super tender it hurts really bad and i'm just ready to get this thing out of me um i'm very nervous actually like i'm kind of sweaty and like out of breath because I'm scared for it to come out. I don't know, like I want it out, but I'm scared it's gonna hurt when it comes out, but I heard it doesn't hurt. I don't know, we'll see, but make sure you guys watch the full video to see like just how it feels. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous, but my dad is driving me to my appointment today. Cameron's coming with us, but the city driving is no joke, so my dad's gonna handle that because he's from New York, so he knows exactly how to make his way through the New York streets very easily. So he's downstairs right now. Um, we're gonna head down in a few minutes. I just have to pop a painkiller because I'm scared for this drive. I'm scared for the drain coming out. Um, but besides that, I feel like my swelling has gone down a lot. Like my knees are less swollen. My hands are less swollen. I actually had like a decent amount of energy to like do skincare and like put some contacts in today. But, um, and then hopefully later today, I will be able to shower, which will be good. And then I could do like my first look at my body, which I'm excited for. But let me show you guys my little outfit that I have on. Cameron's currently getting ready. And then we're gonna go head down to the car, get in the car and head to New York City. Okay, so this is the fit for the day. I've been like living in these grandma pajamas, but I'm not complaining, they're super comfy. So I have this little dress on from um, Target, a train right there. Um, and it's kind of weird. Actually, skip ahead if you don't like the look of like drains and stuff. But for those of you who don't mind, my drain has like this weird colored fluid now. It's like a wine color kind of. So I'm just gonna tuck that back away. But um, I'm excited to get this taken out. So let me go get my stuff together. And then we're gonna go head down to the car. Come on, baby. Take it easy. You good? Alright baby, today's the day. I'm so excited. You excited? Yeah. One week post up, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go get that drain up. No, thank God. Alright guys, so we're gonna see today Trisha's drain getting removed from her lower stomach. I am so excited. I literally, I like feel it in my stomach at this point. Like it's ready to come out. Honestly, if you guys look down here, like so side, have, like she got a little something like going on. That's her drain right there. Yeah, like, it's like right there. It's the pump right there. Yeah, it's the pump right there. But she's gonna get that extracted. They're gonna take it out today. We I'm don't know. Nervous. We don't know what we're gonna see. Supposedly, people say that it don't hurt. It hurts. Trish is gonna be strictly like honest with you guys, yeah. like with the pain. I've what been she honest feels. this whole time. Right. I've been so like truthful with you guys this entire time. And for people who forgot like my question from the other video, mm -hmm. do you regret this at all? No. 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 I'm gonna be honest, like I, I said it before, but like the recovery of it is way different than I imagined. I knew it was gonna be painful. I knew that like certain things would be hurting, but there's a lot of things that like you feel mentally and physically that you don't expect, like especially with the medication. Well, look, so I'm not you, gonna lie, like, listen, we did so many tests and challenges to see how strong Trisha is. Mm -hmm. And you guys saw with your own eyes, like she got up by herself mm -hmm. with her drain and she got that Dior bag. I did get that Dior <laughs> bag. But um, I, the thing that I'm most excited about today is to be able to lay on my stomach without like having the drain like laying next to me. Uh -huh. And then also I get to shower today. Wait, you want to show them what your drain looks like? 
Yeah, I showed them. I showed them earlier. Oh, you showed them earlier. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Trisha's dream looks completely different today. Like, yeah, it looks like it's just blood that's going in there now, and it's like, like wine. but the blood is turning dark because it's been sitting. There. Yeah, it's like fresh old. blood comes out red, and then yeah. when it sits there, it gets darker. Yeah. So we're gonna see you guys in the room. All right, guys. So that's where Trisha's drain is at in the stomach right there. At the lower stomach and that's what's gonna get pulled out today so i took my garment off and cameron's like not looking it's like hard for me to breathe when i don't have it on for some reason um but i'm trying not to look down because i want to get like my real reaction to my full body like in a separate video so and same thing with cameron's reaction so i'm just trying to like cover myself and not look in any mirrors and only look down but i'm super super swollen as you guys can probably tell by my stomach um, I'm trying not to show too much because like my private area, but Yeah, I'm excited to get this drain out of me. I'm nervous, but I'm just gonna breathe Stay strong like I have been through this whole process Just get this thing out of me No, when I take the drain out, no pain. Okay. It's actually two seconds and that's it All you're gonna feel is me like moving the area to cut the stitch, but no pain. Nothing pain. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna take these tapes off mm. Is it normal to have like labored breathing when I don't have my faha on? Like I feel like I'm like Yeah, everything is kind of tight, especially there's a band up uh -huh. on top uh -huh. and that band kind of squeezes everything so when you take it out you're gonna kinda of feel like Okay. Like okay. you've been constricted, yeah. Mm. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, it's just a bit. Was that the tape or the drain? Just the tape. tape. Oh. No, that wasn't like, even the drain yet. Like, 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 the drain on. is easy. The drain is the easy okay. part. It sounds more scary than it actually is. Yeah. I'm just gonna take this one off. That's Oof. it. I gotta do the back. <gasps> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Maneuvering the drain. Uh huh. Nothing painful. You want me to let you know step by or just do it? No. I, I think I just want it to be done. Okay. So we'll do that. Good luck. Appreciate it. <laughs> Breathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I would have guessed. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <sighs> it's no. out. Oh my god. It's out. <sighs> That's it. The torture is done. No more drain. You okay? Yeah. Just breathe. Yes, yeah, it's sensitive. Okay, I gotta take the stitch out, okay? Oh my god. You should've brought your mouth guard. No, I'm fine, I'm not clenching. Just hold still. You okay? Yeah, is it almost done? Yeah, but I, I need, like, to grab the suture. I don't wanna hurt you. There we go, it's done. Oh, it's finished. So I don't have any stitches left? No, that's it. There you go. Put some bacitrine ointment on the area. That's it. There you go. It's over. Oh my god. You good? Yeah. Just breathe. Okay? Alright, it's out. Just gonna put this on so you're not losing fluid. Yo, see you see that? Look, that is insane. And then insane. just put my faha back on like normal. Correct. I don't know wow. anywhere. Nothing. Because okay. you want that to make a scab. When it makes the scab, that's kind of when it. So it's not like heals. a big hole. Right? No, 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 no. And it's okay. gonna seal pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. All right. So for the next week or two weeks, you're gonna continue to wear the stage one garment with the foam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, twenty four seven. Only take it off to shower. Okay. You're gonna sleep with it. If you need to like wipe the foam down, you can with some soapy water. Mm -hmm. Um, the garment you got the other one the last time, right? I didn't get you any. didn't get any. Okay. So we'll give it to you today, and then you're gonna just alternate them as you go showering. They're gonna be hand washed and air dried. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna come back in two weeks okay. and see me again, and we're gonna get you into a stage two garment. Okay. All right. So we'll size you, make sure it fits you nice and snug. Okay. At that point, most of the swelling will have Started. went down already, so you'll be like in a more like a waist trainer. This is more like post surgical. So if you notice, it's not very tight. Yeah. It's more like a Spanx. Mm -hmm. The next one is like when we're really right. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so I could shower, two weeks, come back, and then just keep my faha on with the foams. Correct. Are you doing any scar treatment? Um, I haven't started yet. Okay, I I good. You it. shouldn't have. So okay. today is the day. Okay. You're going to use any kind of um, silicone-based scar gel. I got the one from here. Perfect. So use okay. that. It's going to be one pump twice a day on each incision. Just don't put it on that one where the drain came yeah. out of just yet. Okay. Let it heal. Once you start to see that it's like a scab and mm -hmm. it's dry, then you can start applying so it. So should I put bacitracin on it when I get out of the shower? You can, but just remember ultimately we want it to dry. Dry up. So if we keep moisturizing it with that, it's, it's not gonna really going to. Okay. But if it gets like irritated or it starts to get itchy, anything like that, yeah, mm -hmm. you can put it. Okay. If anything comes up within the next two weeks and you want to come in, mm -hmm. we're always here. Okay. So you can always just stop by, give us a call, let us know I need to come in, and okay. you come on in. Thank okay? You so much. You're welcome, guys. We'll see you soon. Okay. Came a long way, baby. Long way. So let everybody know, how did that really feel? Because we were seeing you, like, just in a lot of, like, pain and everything. You were like, ah, ah. Like, so explain like... to us how that whole entire drain um, removal. removal went. Okay, so it was very painful. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It was painful? It was very, and honestly. I think it's, I think it's because the way you went about it. Like, if you, like, chose, because you just told her you wanted it out. Yeah. So, she just did what yeah. she needed to do, get it out. Yeah. There's ways you could have went about it, like, maybe, like, like, like breathing, breathing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, when she pulled, maybe. Yeah. yeah but I, you just told her you wanted it out, so yeah. she just got it Because I didn't want to know the steps, because if I knew the steps, I'd be expecting it coming. So, I'd rather it just be, like, out. You know what I so mean? So, you should have, like, I feel like you should have told her, like, like, that one two and like she take it out yeah, in two type maybe. of thing i don't know it, it probably would have been different but maybe but I don't have thank to god nothing anymore. like crazy happened you got it out how does um, it feel it feels that area is really sensitive i feel like it would be different if like okay say someone like didn't have any soreness in that area maybe it wouldn't have hurt mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. but i've been super sore in that area so like it hurts really bad just touching over there so pulling something out of there, cutting, snipping, like, it right. hurt really bad. Um, but I feel like if you weren't sore in that area, that makes sense. it would be better. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. So, but I'm so excited to go home and shower. You have no idea. <laughs> I am so excited. <laughs> and I'm happy I don't have any stitches in me because I thought each incision was going to have stitches. Mm. But it we should ask them if you are able to, like, use your BBL uh chair or your bbl um oh, bed yeah. we should ask if you're able to yeah yeah because i'm so over lying on my stomach but right. i feel good i'm so excited when we get home i'm 100 percent filming that other video like seeing my body for the first time Sheesh. and then you see my body for the first time because i've been like hiding like when i got my drain taken out the nurse saw my whole body i didn't look down but i had cameron standing over there so that he couldn't see anything but um okay i'm gonna get dressed I gotta get new foams, my new faha, and then we're going home, and I'm gonna shower. Going back into the stinky faha that we have to wash when we get stinky home. Stinky foams, but we could wash the foams too. I didn't know that. Mm. But alright, guys, we'll see you guys in the car. Alright, guys. So now that my drain is out and we're home, I feel so much better. I feel absolutely amazing right now. Of course, I'm still like a little sore. My stomach hurts. My back hurts, and like. Since she removed the tape off of my incisions, um, like those areas are kind of a little sore, but it's all expected. But definitely now I feel like my pain will be manageable with just by two Tylenol, which is great because I don't like being on those like hard painkillers. I really don't want to be on them anymore. So I'm really happy that the Tylenol will help me now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I am getting ready to shower because dry shampoo can only help you out so much after a week. I'm about to take my first shower in a week and I'm very excited. So make sure you guys stay tuned for my reaction to my body, Cameron's reaction to my body, and possibly my body reveal. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.